Hello everyone. Now we will be solving the second program. The second program is about the quadratic equation. The name itself says that we have to write a C program that takes three coefficients. That means A, B and C of a quadratic equ equation. Quadratic equation is an equation which appears in this format, which is AX square plus BX plus C is equal to zero. If any equation is in this format, where a, b, c are coefficients, by taking these coefficients, we need to compute the possible roots. Our responsibility is to compute only the roots. Now let's see how we can compute the roots for this. So the first and foremost thing for computing, mathematically, we have to understand this particular problem. We need to compute the discriminant. So let us say discriminant, what is the discriminant formula is here is nothing but just b square minus 4ac. So we need to compute the discriminant. First, we have to compute the discriminant. After computing, this is the formula for computing the discriminant. Since we are taking A, B, C as coefficients, after taking that, we need to compute the discriminant. Once after computing the discriminant, what is our next responsibility is we need to compare this discriminant with respect to the zero value. If the discriminant value is greater than zero, then the roots differ. There are two roots for a quadratic equation. I'll be calling it as root one and root two. I'll be calling it as root 1 and root 2. If our discriminant value is greater than 0, then I can write this root 1 is equal to minus b plus square root of, I'll be computing square root, square root of discriminant, square root of discriminant divided by 2a. And the root 2 will be equal to, say, minus b minus square root of discriminant divided by 2a. This is the formula which we use when the discriminant is greater than 0. See, first we have to take these coefficients a, b, c, and then we have to compute the discriminants by using those coefficient values, b square minus 4ac. Once after that, we need to compute, we need to check whether the discriminant is greater than 0. If that is greater than 0, then the root 1 is computed with this formula, and root 2 is computed with this formula. Suppose if our discriminant is equal to 0, if it is equal to 0, then what will be our root? Our root 1 and root 2 will be both are same. So I can write it as root 1 is equal to, so root 1 is equal to and root 2. And what will be uh, what will be the value or I can say the formula for computing it? It is just b divided by 2a is the formula for computing the root 1 and root 2 when discriminant is equal to 0. Suppose if the discriminant, what we have computed here, if it is not greater than 0 and if it is not equal to 0, then how do we compute this discriminant? Sorry, how do we compute these roots? Let's see that now. Suppose, apart from this, if our discriminant is less than 0, then how do we compute these roots? Let's try to understand. So the root 1 will be equal to, it is just minus b by 2a. This is the formula for computing it. Suppose if, uh, what will be the root 2 then? Root 2 will be equal to, it is square root of, minus discriminant divided by 2a. This is the formula for computing the root 1 and root 2 if the discriminant is great, is less than 0. By using this formula, it is possible for us to compute the roots and then we will be printing this particular roots. Now let's switch to the program and let's code for it. By using the same logic, I'll be coding it and I'll be showing you how we can do this particular program. Okay, so now let's continue coding for this particular problem. We have understood the logic behind that, how we can do. So here they are saying we have a C program where you have to read three coefficients. Let's try to understand the input and output. Input, first we need to ask the user to enter a coefficient. So A value, B value, and C value. Then we have to print only the output should be the root one, what is the value, and root two, what is the value, we have to print. And they are in the decimal format. So I'll be just declaring all my variables in the floating point or I can go with the double if my precession, I can say if the precession is longer. So let's start coding this particular problem. So we are including the header files. stdio.h is the header file which I'll be using for performing the simple input or I can say standard input and output operations. Similarly, I'll be using computing the square root, right? The square root is a built-in function which is present in the header file called as math.h. 
So I'll be including that math.h header file also. So I'll just include, sorry, include math.h header file. I'll not return any value. So I'll be giving the return type as void for a main function. So within the main function, I'll start writing my code. As it says, first we need to declare the variables. So I'll just declare it as double or you can declare it as float. The choice is yours. Why I'm going with double is, suppose if your precisions are longer in the, in the backend test cases, we doesn't know. So I'm just going with uh, the double data type. I'll be declaring A also as double, B also as double, and C also as double. If you want, you can go with integers also. And then while computing the roots, you can declare it as double, but I'll be going with doubles. There is nothing wrong in it. So I'll just declare another two variables just to be computed. One is root one and other one is root two. And since I'll be computing discriminant also, I'll be writing it as DESC. Now we need to ask the user to enter a coefficient A. So let's do that. So according to the sample input and output I'm coding, you can observe here in the sample input. First, we need to take enter coefficient A. So that's what I'm doing. For that, I'm writing the printf function. I'll ask the user to enter coefficient A. I'm just making it as colon. And the four value is the value which is entered. You can see here, if something is in the blue tick here, it is the value which is entered by the user. So I'll just go for the new line and I'll write the scanf function and I'll accept that particular value and store it into the variable called as a. Since it is, uh, I can say the double value, I'll be giving the format specifier it as long float and I'll be storing it to the variable called as a. So you can see again, I'm telling if you want it to be read as integer, still you can do it. There is nothing wrong in it. Similarly, we need to do it for b as well, b and c. I'll just copy paste the same thing instead of retyping it again instead of retyping it again. So I'm just copy pasting it. So here I'll be changing it to the B and I'll be reading it to the variable called as B. Same thing for C also. So it saves our time. So I'm just doing it for C. So I'll go for C and I'll be storing it to the variable called as C. So our part, the first part is done, which is where we are reading the values into the variables. I'll just leave a space before all these because that's what the test case says here. There is a space, okay. Now after that, What's our next next uh, thing is we have to compute the roots. To compute the roots, what we need? We need a discriminant. Let's compute the discriminant. So for that, I'll be writing the formula where discriminant will be equal to, this is what the formula which we have discussed, that is b square minus 4ac in the previous discussion. So how do we compute b square? I can write it as b multiplied by b. b square minus 4ac is the formula. So I'll just write it as 4 multiplied by A multiplied by C. This is the formula for computing the discriminant. After computing the discriminant, what is our task? We need to compare if my discriminant value, sorry, if my discriminant value, if it is greater than zero, it is greater than zero, then I told we need to see, again, I'm using it is a comparison, right? We need to make a comparison. If the discriminant is greater than zero or it is equal to zero or it is less than zero. There are three conditions here. What I'll do, so either you can go with separate if statements, that is your choice, or else I'll be using the else if ladder. First, I'll compare one condition. If that is not true, I'll go for the second condition. If that is not true, I'll go for the third condition. I'm using the else if ladder here. The first comparison which I'm making here is, I'll just check whether discriminant is greater than zero. If that is true, then I'll be computing my root one. What's the formula for root one? Already we have discussed about this. The formula for root one, root one will be minus b minus b plus square root of. For square root, we have a built-in function called as sqrt and we have used the header file called as math.h. So we can use the sqrt function here. Square root of discriminant, which we have computed already. Discriminant divided by, divided by 2 multiplied by a is the formula for the root one. Similarly, for root 2, what is the formula? We have already discussed about this as well. It is same as it is. It is minus b, minus b, minus square root of discriminant, discriminant, so divided by 2 multiplied by a. This is the formula for computing the root 2. Once after computing these two, we have to print its results. It is asking root 1, what's the value we have to print, and root 2, what's the value we have to print. So let's write a printf function. Let's write the printf function and I'll be writing it as root space one space colon. Okay, so it is just a colon. 
followed by space and we need to print its value. So the format specifier is percentage LF. We have declared it as double. So I'm just giving it as LF root one. And see, after printing the root one, you can observe here, the next value is being printed in the next line. So I'm adding the new line character here. I'm adding the new line character here. Similarly for uh, root two also, I'll just copy paste this instead of rewriting it again. So I'll just do this. Instead of writing root one, I'll be writing it as root two this time. And while printing, I'll be printing it as root two. And did they give any specification saying that rounded of two, two decimal places? Yes, they have given print the output up to two decimal places. So instead of giving it as percentage LF, I'll give percentage dot two LF. Here also the same thing, percentage dot two LF because they are limiting the output to the two decimal places only. Now, first part is done. That is, if the dis discriminant is greater than zero, we are calculating the roots and we are printing the roots. Suppose the second condition is else if, else if, if my discriminant is equal to zero, if it is equal to zero, then what we need to do? We need to calculate the roots again. I told both the roots will be same. So I'll be writing root one is equal to root two is equal to. So we can compute the root one and root two to together and store the values into it. How do we compute? It is just b square minus, sorry, it is just b divided by 2a. So I'll be writing it as b divided by 2 multiplied by a is the formula for it. So I'll just put 2 multiplied by a inside the bracket so that it is easy for us to understand. This is what it is. And we have to print the root 1 and root 2. So instead of rewriting it again, I'll just copy paste this particular printf statements, which saves our time. Suppose if this discriminant is not greater than zero and discriminant is not equal to zero. It is understood that discriminant will be obviously less than zero only. So instead of writing one more condition, I can use the else case here directly. I can use the else case here directly because if these two are not satisfied in the, I can say in the ladder, if this is satisfied, this part will be executed. If the second, condi if the first condition is false, it will go to the second condition and check. If this is also not satisfied, obviously it will come to the else case. That means the discriminant is not greater than zero and if it is not equal to zero, obviously it will be less than zero only. So need not write a condition again to, to check that it is understood that it will be less than zero. So now we have to compute the root one and root two. We know the formula for root one. How do we compute the root one? We have already discussed about that. It is just minus B by two A minus B divided by, I can say it as in the bracket, I can just write it as two multiplied by A. This is the formula for root one. Similarly, for root two, we have, sorry, just wanted to end this statement. So root two, how do we compute this root two? It is just square root of, we have discussed about this formula. Again, minus discriminant divided by two A. I can say it as two multiplied by A. This is the formula for root two, and we have to print the root one and root two. Let's copy this and let's, let's paste this it is for two decimal places. That's it. It is done. So the first, what we have to remember is how do we compute the discriminant based on the discriminant? We just, I can say compare and based on that roots will be calculated. And this is the formulas which we have to understand. And then we have to calculate this. Let's try to execute this and see whether the root calculation is correct or not for this particular inputs. I'll give a value as four as they have given in the example. So B value is seven and it is asking for coefficient C, I'm giving it as two. So it is giving minus 5.75. And I can say it is somewhere we have missed. Let's see what, what we have missed. Let's submit and see this. This part of the calculation has been missed. Let's check. The value calculations are somewhere mismatched. Let's check that where we have mismatched. So the discriminant calculation, it is B square minus 4AC. It is absolutely correct. The discriminant is greater than zero. We are calculating the root one. And the root one is calculated as minus B plus square root also correct. And discriminant divided by 2A we are doing. That is also correct. Just put it into the bracket so that it will be easy for us to understand. The second one is also minus B minus square root of discriminant divided by 2a, that is also correct. 
and we are printing root one and root two. If the discriminant is equal to zero, the second condition, then we are printing root one is equal to uh, root two is equal to. We can just give it as a b divided by two a. That is also correct. Let's check now. So what is happening? I'll give four. I'll give seven. And I'll give two this time. Now it is being calculated correctly. The mistake which we did was it was we have not added the brackets. That's why the calculation. That means the order of preference and I can say precedence and associativity was mismatching among the execution of these particular equations. That's why let's submit and see now. And it has been successfully submitted for all the test cases for the hidden test case as well as for the regular test cases. This is how you have to solve the second lab program. Thank you.